What is going on everyone? A huge thank you for clicking on the video. I greatly appreciate that as always. Now today I'm making something I didn't even think I was going to make because it is pretty similar to something I already did make and that is Pokemon Silver on the Nintendo 64. But today I'm taking a look at a different game. I'm going to be taking a look at none other than Pokemon Blue for the Nintendo 64. Now I wasn't originally going to make this video because I honestly didn't think that there was going to be enough difference between the two videos to warrant even making it, uh, other than just the game itself of course, but there are a couple differences that I felt maybe warranted making a video, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, but of course if you remember from my last video, if you saw it, I actually got the game and the actual case itself from two different sellers, so we we're in a sense reviewing two different things. Uh, but this is actually an all-in-one product from just one seller. And to top it all off, if you couldn't possibly tell, uh, it's actually a sealed product. So uh, just in my opinion, when it's sealed, it just makes it feel more fun. Who doesn't love opening up a sealed product? Uh, but obviously, despite it being sealed and despite all of this Nintendo branding, it's not actually an official Nintendo product. It's just to make it look cool and for the collection purposes. Think of it more as like a functional art piece. Now, before we break the seal here and get rid of this natural light glare here, uh, I do want to take a look at the back of the case here. Obviously, it looks fantastic. As we see, we got some screenshots here from the game that we all know and love. Uh, but there are a couple things I think worth mentioning here. Uh, first, we've got Trade with Friends and Watch Your Pokemon Evolve. I think we can assume that that's probably not going to be happening, just like Silver. Uh, there was no way to actually trade Pokemon, so you are locked into what you got here. Uh, but down here, a couple more things worth mentioning a little bit about the game. Uh, it says, collect up to 151 Pokemon played the red EMU version. That, to me, personally sounds like a grammatical error. I, I don't know if they're meaning this is the red EMU. I would assume it's probably the blue EMU. So I don't really 100% know what that means, but I assume we are working with the EMU versions of these games. Uh, but Because it also does say you don't need both versions, red and blue, to collect all the Pokemon. For those who aren't familiar, I believe the EMU versions include ways to actually collect all of the Pokemon in just one game. So I don't believe that they have like trade stones to evolve Pokemon. I think you can actually just catch those Pokemon wild, assuming I got that correct, of course. Also, it does say down here, save your Pokemon and collection and game progress on the uh, on the game pack memory. I assume that's maybe referring to the actual you know, 64 memory pack that you actually plug into your controller. I, of course, am going to be taking a look at all of that whenever I actually pop into this, of course. Look at that. No more annoying glare. This looks so much better without the, the seal on it, despite it looking, of course, fantastic originally. We can appreciate this a little bit more without that annoying glare. Again, I do apologize for that. Just my way of getting some natural light in the room. Look at that. They even sealed it even more for us. Here we go, Pokemon Blue. Uh, I know I said this in my last video and I'll say it again. This just looks right. This looks like this needed to happen. Totally understand why they didn't do it. It would probably be a, a disaster for them if they actually ported these, but ah, uh, this just looks good. And of course the 64 in general, just having colored cards, they're the best ones who did it. I know more people did it, but like they're the best ones who did it. Yeah, this car, I mean, it looks fantastic. Like I said, this just looks like it belongs. I actually don't own any blue cartridges right now, so this is kind of like my first, and wow, yeah, it just looks great. I mean, what else can you really say? Pokemon Blue on the Nintendo 64. Um, so yeah, not that there's really anything else to look at, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the 64, and we'll take a look. Real quick, for those who don't know, I do generally like to record on the CRT TV. I could screen record it, but I just wanted to try and show you the more genuine, authentic experience, so I felt like, the camera, my, my phone camera, maybe captures that a little bit more genuine, a little bit more authentic, so you can hopefully see what I see and, and what you'll actually be purchasing. All right, here we are with Pokemon Blue, and I'll just, I'll just go ahead and say this now. We'll just go ahead and get this part out of the way. I believe earlier, the box said, and I'll quote here, collect up to 151 Pokemon played the Red EMU version. So I was led or under the assumption that perhaps this was meant to be the Blue EMU. Uh, and sadly, I don't think that's the case. Again, I could be a bit of a dumbass and just missing things, but uh, yeah, we or I was under the impression that this was the blue EMU, so I thought maybe I could collect all of the Pokemon, being able to run into various final stage evolutions like the trade ones out in the wild, um, things like that. 
I found a list of things, I'll try and throw it up here, of things that are supposed to be in the blue EMU version, and I, I was not coming across any of that stuff. Like, Mew was supposed to be, I think, in the game corner as a prize, and he wasn't there. Uh, various Pokemon were supposed to be on various routes, things like that. I was not coming across any of those. Maybe I'm just having terrible luck. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But from what I can tell, this is just the standard blue version, which is totally fine. It just means, you know, you're not going to be able to collect them all, sadly. So don't get this or don't go into this thinking that you can get them all. But again, I, I could have just missed something. I could be wrong on that. But from what I can tell, this is just the regular blue version. Yeah, the back of the box also says, you know, you don't need both versions red and blue to collect them all. Not entirely sure if that's true. So it also says save your Pokemon collection and game progress on the game pack memory. From what I can tell, it doesn't do that. Uh, I've, I literally just checked my game pack. There's no Pokemon blue on my 64 memory or anything like that. It just like the silver video I did, it just uses the save states to actually save, which I do like. I do prefer that. I, I like that that is an option here because you can literally save whenever you want, which is really nice. And of course, you can always, if you maybe mess up catching a Pokemon or mess up losing a fight, you can just really quickly load back to that most recent save point and just try again. So really big fan of that, though. But yeah, I don't believe it's actually saving on any game memory pack. But it does save, and that is, of course, the most important thing. That's the main thing that we wanted out of this, to make sure that it does save and can hold a save. So that is, of course, a massive plus. Also, like the silver video I did, it does have those similar settings. I guess is that that's maybe what you would call that, the various settings they have in there. Uh, and then they also, of course, have the times two speed, which is the best thing that you could possibly add in a game like this. It makes the game, not that it's not playable, but ten times more playable. You can just absolutely breeze through these games. If you wanted to, I bet you could probably beat this game in a couple of hours. I obviously took a lot longer than that. I was taking my time, playing with my girlfriend. Uh, but yeah, the times two speed is a much needed or much appreciated addition to this game. Also, I do think it's worth mentioning that since you do save or do the quick saves with the yellow keys or the yellow arrows, you gotta be careful when you do that because you might accidentally save over something that you don't mean to or save when you don't mean to. Uh, it, you're supposed to hold up to load, so that's good. I think that's good, and then you just tap down to save, but just be careful with that because you can... I, I was definitely accidentally clicking the save thing a couple times, which is not the end of the world, but if you're trying to be careful and trying to do certain things, that could definitely mess you up. And I, I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure both this one and Silver, I could be wrong, they didn't like give you instructions to tell you what the buttons do and, and how this game saves exactly kind of just have to figure it out on your own it's not super hard to figure out but if you maybe don't know and they're just trying to save the normal way it's probably not going to actually save your game and then you might have to end up starting over so definitely thought that would be worth mentioning overall though i mean i had a ton of fun playing this game it's pokemon blue how can you not have a ton of fun playing this game it's definitely a little bit more like the pokemon silver you know we went into Pokemon Silver not expecting to get them all. I went into Pokemon Blue expecting I maybe could get them all, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Again, I might be wrong. I could be stupid. But from what I can tell, it's just regular Blue. But we are able to beat it. We crushed through the Elite Four. Had a ton of fun plowing through the Elite Four. Uh, we beat the game. The game saves. That is, of course, the most important feature of this is that the game works and saves. So all in all, I'd say this was a plus. This was a good experience. I definitely recommend trying this if, if it's something that you are interested in obviously authentic games are skyrocketing in price as we speak they're they're just getting more and more expensive and a lot of times the batteries are dead so if you don't mind paying just a little bit less and essentially not getting as much you know you can't capture all of them and you can't trade uh definitely worth it at the very least to add to your collection all right that is going to bring us to the end of the video here pretty sure i said this in my silver and i'll go ahead and say it again here this is probably going to be the last Pokemon 64 video I make just because they are so similar. I don't want to keep pumping out the exact same stuff over and over again. You know, I don't need to do a red version of this. So unless it's just like unique, like a special cartridge or there's something just unique or special about it, I'll, I'll totally check it out. But other than that, I'd say that this is probably going to be it. But overall, though, I mean, I, I had a ton of fun playing these games, both it and silver. They were just super fun, especially with the times two speed. It's just it's a overall fun experience. I, I like having them on the 64. Like I said before, when I saw it I'm, I'm, I, as a massive 64 fan and Pokemon fan, it just spoke to me. It looks great. All of it looks great across the board, both of them. 
and these boxes look great. And you know, they're they're not perfect. There are some downsides, you know, like we said, I, I don't think all of this is necessarily correct. I don't know, it could be wrong, it could be stupid, but uh, overall though, I think it's, a, it's definitely a fun experience. If you're a, a 64 fan or a Pokemon fan, you might consider collecting this if, if you think it's fun. I'll have a link to that down below if you guys want to check it out. So if you all enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. That would help out the channel so much and I would greatly appreciate it. But until next time, I'll see you all later.